Thank you. Good evening, dear Dene. Thank you. Thank you, Zion. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, if you just tune in, uh, just share and share. And uh, If you just tune in, just share. Uh, good evening, dear Dene. Uh, good evening, Vanessa. Good evening, Desmond. Uh, thank you for tuning in this evening. Here again, my name is Funtan Daniel. I will be speaking live here from the great state of Texas here in the United States. I want to thank all of you that are tuning in. And if you just join in, just share so that we get so many people joining us uh, this evening. Uh, it's evening here in the United States. It's about 7.38. It's an urgent appeal that I will be speaking live here from the great state of Texas here in the United States. And um, thank you, Roland, for joining in. Uh, uh, good evening, Elliot, for joining in. And if you just join in, just indicate briefly below where you are joining in. If you're here in the United States, uh, Dylan already indicated where he is. If you hear good morning, Roland. If you here in the United States, just briefly indicate where you are. If you are in Europe, I guess this some of are already sleeping, but we may have some. And thank you, Lee, uh, for joining in. Uh, if you just join in, just share and let's keep the momentum moving. Here again, thank you, Emmanuel, for joining in. Uh, here again, my name is Fulton Daniel. I will be speaking live here from the great state of Texas here in the United States. And if you just tune in, just briefly indicate below where you are joining. Um, and I want to take a moment to thank all of you that are tuned in this evening. Uh, I will be starting soon. It's an urgent appeal, and I want to take a moment to thank all of you that are joining in. Thank you, Emmanuel, for joining in. Uh, uh, I understand, I understand. So, but they will follow later. Thank you for that uh, concern. And those that are unable to follow now, they can follow later. They can watch the information later. So the important thing is to get the information out. And so we need to speak up. You know, this is weekend. Many people are partying. I understand. Uh, but we have to get the message out. Uh, yes. Thank you, Daniel, for joining in. Uh, if you just joining in, just indicate briefly where you are. I want to take a moment to thank all of you for joining me live this evening. Uh, it is a very, very crucial, and uh, I don't want to take so much of your time, but I will be starting briefly, and I will be starting soon. We will begin first with the Southern Cameroon National Anthem.
you are for watching. Our fellow citizens of the Southern Cameroon, fellow citizens of Ambazonia, uh, my request uh, is this is an urgent appeal 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 to the government of this great nation the united states it is imperative that the united states that the citizens of the southern cameroon now the federal republic of amazonia uh, the citizens are in distress call asking the united states government we asking the United States government, we are asking the U.S. Department of Defense, we are asking the U.S. State Department, we are asking the U.S. Congress, we are asking the President of this great nation, Donald Trump. It is imperative that the United States government take this as a matter of urgency. We are not informing the United States because the United States government is already aware of the crisis of the people of Southern Cameroon. And therefore the sons and daughters and all widely scattered. I believe that the United States can do something because the United States government has did before. We all know the massacre that occurred in in Kosovo. We all know the massacre that occurred in Kosovo. The United States government under Bill Clinton intervened and rescued humanitarian crisis that would have erupted. And Bill Clinton did so and now peace and security is ringing in the Kosovo. This is another momentum that we request that the United States act accordingly or act promptly. United States did so when the people of Iraq invaded Kuwait unjustly by former dictatorship Saddam Hussein. Today, liberty still prevail in that part of the country and the people are still living happily. And this is a special request from the government of the United States. Our people in Southern Cameroon, our people are in distress. The sons and daughters of the Southern Cameroon has picked up arms as a means to help to solve the problems. And that is why the images I'm going to be shown is to indicate how the suffering the people are helplessly against the invasion of a foreign nation's land public to Cameroon. Our people need help more than ever before. And therefore, I am asking the president of this great nation, Donald Trump. It is not a matter of species. It is not a matter of, it is not a matter of this. I understand that the government is aware of the crisis. I understand that the United States Department, State Department of Defense. I know U.S. Department of Defense has officially pulled out of La Republic. And, uh, and uh, Cancel all the systems that are providing to the neighboring country, La Republic. But I am asking the United States government that that is not enough. And that the people are in distress call. And that they are asking the United States Department of Defense. Asking the president of this great nation, the United States. Asking the State Department. Nikki Haley already indicated that her goal was to provide amicable and peaceful world. And the United Nations, but unfortunately, he met she met a difficult challenges, especially when it comes to United Nations. United Nations has adamantly refused it vertically and horizontally, and denied that he can operate. United Nations choose the oppressor and go and join the oppressor against the citizens of the free world. Imagine the people of Southern Cameroon was never a colonial territory. The people of Southern Cameroon is a free nation and was voted by the United Nations here in the United States. The current Secretary General vehemently denounced that he cannot in any circumstances intervene. 
in the crisis in the people of southern Cameroon, now the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. The United Nations openly declared that uh, by through the spokesperson of the current Secretary General, that they would not, instead he aligned with the dictatorship and assure the dictatorship that they are not going to intervene in the people of southern Cameroon. The people of Saudi Cameroon has a legitimacy. They are members of the United Nations. United Nations General Assembly in 1961 voted overwhelmingly recognized the sovereignty of the people of Saudi Cameroon. Today, the sons and daughters are now languishing in the forest in the midst of invasion by a foreign nation, La Republic du Cameroon. We will have expected the United Nations to intervene, but unfortunately, the United